Okay, so we're going to use our studio and we're going to create a database and create a table and we are going to alter the table. So we're connecting to it. And right now I don't have any databases, just the systems database that I did not create. And so we're going to right click on here and we're going to click new database. And we will just call this a course, and I'm called course one. So it created our database, and then we want to create a table, and we can either do it one through the designer, but I don't like the way that works out. So I've created a script to create a table for us, and I'm going to give it to you with the right database name and all you have to do is just double click it and if I'd had it set up right it would have automatically open which it did now or you can click file and open and you can navigate it to it and open it so we're gonna at change this from DB1 to course 1 and I'm gonna save that I'll save and we're going to create our new table and so basically this just creates us a new table and it's we've got ID as an index and the way this is set up this code it will auto increment for it yes and then we've got one column called name and um, these are constraints for the key and they're just uh, good to have it. That's the reason I'm giving you this script so that you can have it and just cookbook from it all the time. So let's click run or execute and it will create the database for us. So if we open it up, now it's in there. And so we've got one column. Let's say that we decide that we want another column. Well, so let's open up a new query and um, a lot of you can get a lot of these commands from w3schools.com uh, SQL uh, page and that will help you out and I'm going to give you the link and there's other tutorials too but this is just a handy one that I like to use all the time because I don't know all the commands by heart but let's go ahead and say alter um, alter names I oh, know yes that's the name of it alter name except we need table in front of it and I'm going to say add email bar car um, I'm going to say 50 and we're going to click go and some of your choices let's click refresh and then we can see the new column So, and you can look at your choices of characters if you go into design mode or the W3 schools will have it too. But let's say if we was to create a new column, which I'm not going to because I don't like to use the designer. This gives you all the data types that you can use. So, but I'm not going to do that. And um, so then we can also change the, the data type of email. So let's click a new query and say alter, alter table names, alter column email, bear care. And you you don't have to have it. It's not case sensitive. So you can type it uppercase, lowercase, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say 100 and then we're going to click go. And then if we decided we wanted to delete um, email, like we can either come down here, right click and delete, or we can drop the column too. So let's click a new one. Alter, table, names, drop, column, email. See if this works for us. Okay, so that did. So if we refresh it, it's going to be just dropped now. So let's go ahead and put him back. 
at 50 characters. We'll just put him back. So we can refresh it. Okay. And go. So um, then if we want to add some data to it or view it, we can do like a right click and select thousand rows, which right now is empty, and it will show us. And you know, we're going to be writing a program to um, populate our tables, do the data entry and stuff. But you can also uh, edit top 200 rows. You can also edit through the studio. Let's say we're going to say name Cindy, and email is Cindy at Yahoo. And see, it automatically incremented for me because of the way we had the database set up. The next one is Mark and Mark at e uh, Google. Um, I think it's Gmail. And then we can say, let's see, Tracy and Tracy at Hotmail. So, so we have learned how to create a table, create database, edit database, add columns, drop columns, modify columns. And that will pretty much get us going. And um, I'm going to give you these scripts and put them in a zip file. And in the next lesson, we will start writing our Hello World program.